Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is the best tool for auto-generating the XPath and CSS selectors? That is, XPath expressions locators and CSS selectors locators. Is there any best tool that is there in the market for auto-generating them? If you don't want to write manually, Okay, and save time. Some people want to save time. Some people don't know how to write. Whatever the case may be, they go for some auto-generating XPath expressions and CS selector tools. There are many and several tools that are there in the market. But what is the popular one? The popular one is Selectors Hub for now. Okay, so when I am recording this session, that is 15th uh, September 2023, the popular you know, auto-generating XPath expressions and CS selectors tool is none other than selectors hub. And uh, there were like uh, during the history when I was traveling across Selenium, you know, from my long time, uh, we used to have this in Firefox browser known as uh, Firebug and Firepath. Okay, Firebug and Firepath using which we used to generate, auto-generate the XPath expressions, okay, and CS selectors, etc. Later, what happened was uh, these add-ons were not compatible with the Firefox browser later on because of the architectural changes that happened in the Firefox browser. In the latest version of the Firefox browser, these add-ons were not supported. So we used to install the older version of Firefox browser for just auto-generating this XPath expressions and CS selectors for a while. Later, what happened? Later, another news came where in the older versions of Firefox browser also, now this Firebug and Firepath cannot be used because the owners, the one who has created or developed this Firebug and Firepath have removed them, okay, from the add-ons list. So that's what happened. So there was a time or a gap where there was no add-on with the people, okay? People don't know like which add-on they have to use. So they have they are forcibly uh, have to create their own XPath and CS selectors because auto generation was lost. There came after a few days. There came um, not few days after a few months or whatever you say. After a few time, there came some other uh, another add on which became popular known as Crowpath. Okay, Crowpath came into the market. So people started using Crowpath like anything. Again, the founder of the Crowpath who is the actual founder of Selector Sub also, okay? So, Kuropath founder is none other than the Selector Sub founder also, okay? Both are same, okay? So, what uh, this founder that is, uh, okay? Uh, founder of the Selector Sub has made is, uh, has made a statement that, so, uh, the, uh, that he came with a new add-on, okay? Which is more powerful kind of thing, okay? For auto-generating the XPath and CS selectors. People slowly started, uh, you know, uh, you, uh, migrating to selector sub because uh, it's kind of very extensive now. Okay, people are using like anything now. So this is what is the uh, history, guys. Okay, for now, if I have to answer this question, I'll simply say selector sub, which is the best tool for auto generating the XPath expressions and CS selectors. But there's one thing that no matter. For answering this question, you can say selectors up, but don't depend on the tools, okay? These tools will definitely save your time, but uh, that doesn't mean that you should stop creating your own XPath and CS selectors, okay? So if you learn how to create your own XPath and CS selectors, and thereafter, if you use this kind of tools like selectors up, right, they are going to save a lot of time for you, okay? So... I recommend everyone to use selectors hub as in this moment. At same time, you have to learn the basics of how to create from scratch. You have to learn how to create XPath expressions and CS selectors by yourself. That will help you out. Okay, so let me show you some uh, something about selectors hub and all. So for that, I'll open the browser. Okay, any browser you can open uh, because selectors hub uh, is supported by multiple browsers. So you can go for this website known as selectorshub.com. This is the official website. I'll show you the founder also in a while. Okay. So here is a, there are a lot of tools coming from this website. Okay. The original, uh, initially it started with selectors hub for auto generating the XPath expressions and CS selectors. Now, now 
they came with a lot of products now, like uh, apart from selectors up there providing test case studio, testing daily, auto test data, test case up, selectors up pro. Okay, a lot of things are there. Okay. And uh, you see, uh, uh, where is this? Okay. Fine. Let's go to selectors up. Let's go to selectors up. Okay. And here you can see. Uh, in this page, you can see this Chrome, okay? Which browser you are using? You can use selectors up on different browsers. Now, currently I'm using Chrome browser, so I'll select this install. And uh, once I say that, I'll get this add to Chrome and all. I'll simply say add to Chrome, add extension. In a while, this extension will be installed. You see, like this. Just click on this manage extensions and uh, pin this so that you can see it here. That's fine. So this is how you have to uh, install this uh, Chrome extension. If you are using Chrome browser, you have to install on Chrome. Okay. So fine. So who is behind this uh, selector sub? It's Sanjay. Okay. Sanjay is the one who is. So if you go to contact us or something, we may we may may find his photo or pic. I don't know where this pic is. Okay, one minute. Let me show you. Selector sub. In somewhere we can see. Yeah, I'll show you later. Uh, I can see the pic coming in a different place, but that's okay. Mm. Let's see if any video or something. Or I'll just search it, uh, Sanjay selectors. Okay. Yes. Yeah, this guy. Okay. So he's the one who is behind this. Uh, earlier, uh, he, he was a uh, he was a uh, founder of uh, Gropath. Now he is recommending everyone to use selectors up. So we will be using selectors up. Okay. That's the best tool that is there in them. Already we have installed it. Now how to use it? Just restart the browser once, okay? Once done, just restart the browser, okay? Go to any application where you have a lot of elements. So now what I want to do is I would like to uh, create an XPath expression for this login button, okay? For that, what I have to do is I don't have to click on this. I simply have to right click here on login and uh, from the right click option itself, I can get, you see, copy relative XPath or copy uh, is there any selector? Yeah, relative CS. Any of these two options you can select and uh, it will generate it for, generate the X path for you. Relative X path and relative CSS for you. Okay. You see, copy relative CSS. It, it will generate. You can paste it here. Okay. Or you can even uh, right click inspect. Instead of right click option, you can right click inspect. And uh, here, uh, these elements will be highlighted under the elements. Uh, sub tabs will be there like styles computed and all go with the last one that is selector sub and you can see here uh, you see when i inspected this login so these are the possible locators different type of locators possible if you want a uh, relative xpath you can click on this copy option and wherever you want to use in the script you can paste and use if you want cs selector relative css you can copy and paste it here okay these are copy options and uh, and if you go with other uh, elements like for example if i go with the drop down field Okay, it uh, whatever the possible locators, okay, whatever the possible locators for this drop down field will be auto generated here. Just click on selector sub, and you can see that there are a lot of possible locators here. You see, there's not X path and CSS only, but you have other possible locators also. Okay, okay, fine. So, ID is there, name is there, class name, multiple where uh, locators are possible. Uh, based on the priority, I'll go with ID. Okay, general in real time. So like that, uh, this add-on or extension or tool will not auto-generate, will not only auto-generate the XPath and CS selectors, but will also auto-generate other type of locators. And you can choose which locator, the prior, according to the priority, you can choose a locator for locating the elements and uh, provide that locator in Selenium automation script so that Selenium, with the help of these locators, can locate the elements on the web page and perform the necessary operations during automation. So hope guys you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.